Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest build of the CR Droid ROM based on Android 10 and in the about section it shows like this on top you will see the CR Droid logo and then we have the Android version as 10 CR Droid specific version is 6.0 the security patch is of latest October 5th 2019 and the stock kernel version here is the Pixel Dynity Plus kernel and here is the build date October 30th of 2019 and this ROM I have been using for a couple of days now and I gotta say that this is most amazing Android 10 best ROMs for Redmi Note 7 Pro. Well, why I'm saying this? Let me talk about it in today's video. Now, if you go into the settings here, you will see the normal like display sound etc settings. Then also you will find the CR Droid settings. So if you tap on it, you will see a bunch of customizations on top of this Android 10 ROM. So let me show you what are the customizations here. We get the status bar, quick settings, navigation, lock screen, button, sound, user interface, miscellaneous customizations and there is the about CR Droid ROM and here you will find most customizations that you will need. In the status bar section, we have the status bar icons. Here you will find the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons. Let me go back and in terms of the Vaulty icon, here is the Vaulty icon option and the faulty icon looks pretty cool let me show you from up close so no problems at all regarding vaulty here vaulty calls do work super fine but there is no call recording option in the like in call ui the default in call ui and there is this like data it disable indicator network traffic monitor is there and there is this clock style and clock and date option you can customize pretty much whatever you want there is this 4g icon instead of lte roaming indicator is there Bluetooth battery stats is there. I checked it, it does work. And there is this battery style and stuff. You can choose it to be circle and stuff as you can see. So a lot of options, no issues whatsoever regarding these kind of customizations. There is also battery bar if you want this. And double tap to sleep is there on the status bar as you can see, it does work, no problems at all. And the brightness control from status bar as well is working fine. You can definitely use this as your like daily driver rom pretty much because it has most customizations that one would want so i would say i have no complaints regarding this rom and in terms of customizations it's kind of a king right now pretty much well this is just like totally my opinion and in the quick pull down section we have this quick pull down from right left you can choose it like however you want this quick pull down from right works flawlessly and in the quick settings panel we have the tile title then the battery like percentage option clock and brightness slider auto brightness etc is there in the quick settings and in the navigation panel we have the navigation bar well it shows it is enabled but it is not and if you want this android 10 system gestures you will have to go into this like stock nav bar settings then system navigation then choose this gesture navigation so that is how you get this android 10 gesture here you won't find this option in the system over here in this rom at least now in the system gestures we have this jump to camera and prevent ringing the normal options and in the lock screen we have the media cover art then battery info then double tap to sleep in the lock screen is there but there is no always unlock with the figurement scanner in the lock screen at least here so that is a bummer but yeah we cannot expect like so much as of right now because i think it's too early and in the button section we have the advanced reboot and stuff let me show you here we have the advanced reboot option if you tap on restart you will find the options to like reboot to system recovery and fast boot then in the like power menu we have the screenshot options and stuff so let me show you the lock screen again and in the lock screen yes there is this bug with the default wallpaper at least it happens whenever like you are double tapping or something the wallpaper kind of crops for a moment so yeah that's how it is the figment scanner speed as you just saw no issues whatsoever regarding the figment scanner speed as you can see it is unlocking the device quite fast and long press for torch is there so if you like lock your phone and then press and hold the power button it will like toggle the torch as you can see then there is this weight device control playback and stuff so these kind of things are there charging sound and stuff you can disable it from the sound settings and screenshot sound is there user interface we have the animation changing option 
and then rounded corner option is there then in the style we have the themes option so you can like customize any theme you can choose a font and stuff so a lot of options are there you can choose whatever theme you want then you can like choose the clocks and stuff so a lot of options we have over here and in the style you can choose it to be light dark etc in the misc settings we have the toast icon and stuff and there is about c android one thing i miss over here that there is no three finger screenshot gesture now let's talk about the flashing well i have flashed this rom with the latest orange fox recovery and to flash this rom you need the rom file then you need the gapps file and according to the gapps file let me tell you that do choose the like signed or the setup wizard version of the gapps there is bit gapps link in the description box below which is recommended to flash this rom and use the like sw version or the setup wizard version so that you can set up your rom before like getting into the home screen and i also flashed the fcrypt disabler of course now talking about cameras the stock camera is the snapdragon camera which is pretty boring so i have flashed the anx camera version 156 and it is working flawlessly as you can see this anx camera is working fine and if you switch to the portrait mode it won't work it will say can't connect to camera and like go to video you will see that camera error happens again so with the nx camera i think the video and portrait is not working as of right now and in terms of gcam 7 it is working fine as you can see i have been using gcam 7 like on this device for quite a long and gcam 7 is working super fine no issues whatsoever here in even videos portrait mode and stuff everything works and now let's talk about some problems here well google pay won't work by default at least but if you want google pay you have to disable the phone and sms app permission from the google play services one thing which is not working is the google chromecast is not working i have tried it from the youtube app and the google photos app well the cast to the tvs and stuff is not working the chromecast simply does not work i have tried it with even this home app it does not work simply in this rom i don't know why so that is a bummer and the ir blaster is working fine too i have tested it with this led rgb remote app otherwise the rom is pretty fast no issues like in terms of day-to-day -day usage and even the battery life is quite great and you can you can add more stuff from here as you can see a lot of options are there and here you will also find this heads up disabling option night light works fine too and in the display settings you will find this live display and stuff from where you can change the rgb color like you can control the rgb color of the screen then adaptive or auto brightness is there in the style section we again have light dark option and if you want the like accent color to be changed you have to go to that like theme option in the customization section and in the lock screen display you will find the always on and stuff if you want the always on display for some reason you can like have it from there double tap to wake double tap to sleep both are there and wake up on plug you can disable it too and in the sound settings if you go over here you will find this like touch vibration dial pad tones etc but there is no me audio dirac but let me show you that there is this audio fx option if you want to use audio fx you can use this no issues whatsoever with this again and in the system you will find this kind of like things there is no gestures option here or even there is no system updater now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management here So as you can see the app open up animations are pretty great. And you can switch between apps just like this which is like fairly simplistic and I would say no issues whatsoever regarding the RAM management or something. But I do see some black screens and stuff in the wallpaper as you can see whenever I am switching like too quickly. So that happens sometimes but like otherwise I would say the ROM is pretty smooth for this device now let me show you the gaming performance here by opening pubg let me show you in which settings you can play pubg on this rom and this is how the volume panel looks like as you can see of course pretty much stock android 10 so you can play on smooth and ultra or you can go balanced and ultra if you go hd you have to play on high settings and hdr is not available 
and in terms of the stock launcher here let me show you the about section so this is how the stock launcher looks like and in the like apps info you will find that this is the sea Android home kind of a modified launcher here so let me go back to the launcher settings so here you will find the icons and notification dots and in the home screen we have some customization settings of the home screen then in the app drawer it is totally empty and in the misc settings we have the allow home screen rotation so that is a pretty simplistic customization in terms of this like stock launcher to the left we have the google now cards and you can swipe up for the app drawer here and you can search apps from here so that is really good and let me show you that there is no like double tap to sleep or something in the home screen at least like anywhere in the home screen there is no double tap to sleep in this launcher and you can like swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and this ROM does support fast charging i have got about like 2800 almost mh through the 18 watt charger if you have that the 18 watt quick charge 3.0 charger and it also shows the charging info in the bottom section of the lock screen whenever you are charging the device so that was it guys thank you so much for watching this video about this here droid 6.0 version on this redmi note 7 pro i'm quite sick so my voice may sound a little bit different give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now